Get your accuracy dialed in. You can do that right there. Literally hit two bullets in the head. You have to pull it down, you know, pretty, pretty good. But if you learn how to do it properly, I mean, it's an insta kill. Um, so I learned this today, the attachments. Okay. So I have to do a new video on attachments. Number one, because the attachments overall have all been changed since my last attachments guide video last year. In addition to that, they've made some changes to the muzzle attachments in PUBG, specifically the suppressor. Historically, the suppressor used to offer you no additional recoil changes to the flash hider. It used to be equal to the flash hider, but it would just have um, no flash and less sound. Now they've actually taken that away. Um, well, the suppressor no longer gives you any horizontal or vertical recoil help. Instead, it I only gives you hip gosh. fire accuracy improvements. I thought it was the weirdest thing when I realized that. And then to make matters worse, shotgun spawn rate reduced by 30% this update, by the way, 30%. To make matters worse, they put in parentheses, this stat may differ depending on the attached weapon. You see that? Look at my flash hider. Eliminates muzzle flash, plus 10 horizontal recoil, plus 10 vertical recoil, parentheses. This stat may differ depending on which extended. weapon you are you have it attached to. What? Why? So it's like, now you don't know. I, I, I don't understand why, why they, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why they, why they've done did that, but, but they've done did it. So again, I'm going to do a, a lot of testing on it. I'm going to figure out what's what, but um, yeah, it would appear that the suppressor now is like really only, only useful on DMRs. Like it, it still has usefulness on an, on an assault rifle because it doesn't make your accuracy worse than no attachment. But if you're looking for the, you know, proper recoil control, it's an obvious answer now, flash hider than compensator. I thought that was really interesting. Uh, yo, Freddy, I have no idea if, if and or when they'll bring back um, old items. What I do know is that when they do bring back old items, can I get Where his toes? Is. Can you mark? He dead. There he goes. When they do bring back old items, they usually will put them into the workshop crate system so that you can use BP to get the items for freebies. You know the sad thing about the new patch? All the people that built an M4 to level 10 or any level won't use it because M4 got nerfed. Well, I don't think so, man. I have a, um, if you, if you missed just a few minutes ago, I have a video coming out tomorrow morning that's going to in depth review the AUG versus the M4 and uh, show you how to use the FAMAS and what, what gun, what gun, what that gun's all about. Can you die, you son of a gun? And I think after you watch that video, you'll notice that it's not really that cut and dry. And ultimately, it's not like the M4 is going to be a bad weapon. It's still going to be a very viable weapon, um, but there will be the people who are going to want to use the best available gun. And for those people, yeah, I think they're going to make the obvious choice and use the AUG. He's still here. Yeah. At a boy point, you get extra soy sauce and duck sauce when ordering Chinese food using creator code CDOM. Ten out of ten would recommend. Using code CDOM at all of your checkouts everywhere. Walmart, Chinese restaurants, Chick-fil-A. 
But my whole thing with the suppressor is that, I mean, if you, if you watched my video from like a year ago, you, you know what I'm talking about. But I did a comparison where I basically, I challenged the viewer and I said, can you spot the shooter? And can you spot the shooter? And in that test, you know, I, I had the player shooting a compensator, shooting a flash hider and shooting a suppressor with a DMR from like a pretty good ways away, like maybe 150 meters away, kind of up in the, up in the woods. And most people who commented on that video or watched that video said they could not find the suppressor. And so there's definitely a good balance to using the suppressor in those certain situations. But I just thought it was kind of odd that, you know, they made that change and then there's like no communication on it. Like they didn't make any, any post about, oh, the hell ADS game. What was that about? Game with an ADS. About the, um... Oh. About the change and then also... Oh, there he is. And then also, um, you know, removing the recoil control reduction out of it was kind of odd to me. So like they, they made it worse and didn't say anything about it. Oh, it's just kind of weird. Like, I'm okay with them like making it a little worse if they need to, if they feel like it doesn't, it's not balanced, but I don't think the suppressor wasn't balanced before, you know, I don't know. And, and then the little comment about this stat may differ depending on the weapon attached. Like why, why is that comment there? You know, the only thing I can think of is like, maybe the suppressor, how many kills you have? Um, 21. Maybe the suppressor, like on the weapon, like the Graza, maybe it, it doesn't negatively impact those kind of weapons that can only accept that one attachment or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. When you said the mutant can two tap someone with level three helmet, is that in burst mode or single tap? It, what, either one. Two tap means two two hits, two bullets. If you single tap somebody twice, they'll die. If you have it in burst mode where the gun shoots two bullets, if you hit both of those bullets in the head, they die. Like that's the mutants like real key is, oh my. Is that if you get your accuracy dialed in, you can do that right there. Literally hit two bullets in the head. You have to pull it down, you know, pretty, pretty good. Oh, I can't see his head. But if you learn how to do it properly, I mean, it's an insta kill. It's a very, very, very powerful weapon. I think you're going to be waiting a long time on a progressive, uh, progressive M16 or mutant man. Maybe not now since they got buffed. Like PUBG chooses progressive skins based on their weapons usage. That's why we still don't see an AKM progressive is because other weapons get used more. Isn't 41 damage over 40 a better weapon plus fire rate and less attachments? Yeah, higher damage per bullet is better, but also you could have a scenario where you had a weapon that had a higher damage per bullet, but a lower rate of fire than another weapon that has a lower damage per bullet, but a higher rate of fire. That weapon that has the lower damage per bullet, but higher rate of fire could have a overall higher damage per second, which means it's actually a stronger weapon. Never gotten along with the, well, you, you'll probably be like one of those people who I discussed in the video coming out tomorrow is that even though statistically speaking, the AUG will be the better weapon. Looking at the raw stats, ultimately that doesn't matter if you're not hitting all your shots. So if you're just way more comfortable with the M4 because you've been using, what the hell? Because you've been using it for five years and you know, you're just used to the M4's recoil pattern and all that kind of good stuff. Or you just have a really cool skin and you want to show off that cool skin. Well then, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you go up against a fight with an equally skilled player who's using the AUG, they're going to win. That's what it comes down to. So does that really change change the way you play not really but you know if you're like in a ranked game mode there's some money on the line they're gonna pick up the aug what grip do you make oh always use the uh lightweight grip whenever you're doing single tap 
or burst fire weapons always 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 lightweight grip the mutant i mean the um thumb grip is a is a close second because it does give you a uh, good vertical recoil control but the main reason why i prefer a thumb grip second to the lightweight grip is because it gives you uh your faster ads speed and when you're using a weapon such as oh my gosh i'm dead oh thank god when you're using a weapon such as the um you know mutant where you're gonna have a big scope on it having that thumb grip lets you ads you know down your sights way faster so you can go zoom 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 really fast and if you didn't have that it's like zoom 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 thumb grip on zoom 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 really fast abracadabra Make sure you get the new skins using credit code Sedum. You'll have plenty of keychains on your rock climbing clothing set. These bots are amazing. I would drop mad money on a mutant skin. Is that really what you want? A mutant skin? I think there's a couple of other weapons I would rather have over a mutant skin personally. I think first and foremost, I would like an MG3 skin. Would love to see an MG3 skin. If we're talking like progressive weapons, I would love to see a, a vector, a progressive vector for like an M249. Bro. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Use the M16. It's terrible. It's actually really good. The M16 is definitely harder to, to control the burst fire, though. It's definitely harder to spam this thing than it is a mutant. You got to find that sweet spot, like right before the last bullet hits. Mutant's definitely way easier. You can like really spam the mutant. That M16's got like just a little longer of a delay. So it kind of messes with your, your rhythm, you know? Yeah, a lot of people have been been talking about the Scar H, basically a 762 version of the Scar. I'm down with PUBG adding honestly any new weapon into the game unless it's simply a copy pasta of another version of another gun in the game with no changes. Like how they added the Mosin, the only thing different is the model of the gun and the sound of the gun. It's the same weapon as a car 98, same stats, all that shit, you know? I don't, I don't get why they would do something like that. The, uh, the K2 assault rifle is a similar situation. It's, it's actually, you know, a, a different, um, it's a different gun than the M4, but it is so outpowered and outmaneuvered by the M4 that it makes no sense to pick it up. You know, you can't take as many attachments. It's a uh, worse late game. It just like the only reason to pick up a K2 is because it's early game and you don't have any attachments. In that one scenario, it's a better gun to the M4, but that's it. In, in every other scenario, the M4 is, you know, far better. So it's like, if you're going to add a new gun to the game, it needs to, you know, differentiate itself somewhat between whatever gun it's going to be most similarly compared to. Otherwise, no one's going to pick it up. You know, it's going to fall to the wayside. Woo!